Hello everyone. I received your request to record this video from one of my followers. She has requested a conversation about why her boyfriend will not allow her on his social media, which means they are not connected. They're not friends on their social media accounts. And he says it is because he is afraid that she's going to get all jealous and cause arguments and cause problems. Now there's two there's two potential pathways that, that this could be about. So I'm going to address both of these things because I need to cover all the bases here. The first piece is, are you a jealous person? Typically, have you come into this relationship afraid that he's going to cheat on you? It's nothing that he's done. You've just shown up that way. You're extremely insecure. Maybe something happened in your past. Maybe you were betrayed and cheated on by previous partners or you're just super insecure and you f see the world that every other woman is better to you, better than you, and he is going to find someone better than you and leave you. So you are showing up to the relationship as an insecure and jealous person because that gets really old to a guy when we constantly want them to reassure us that we're okay and they're not going to cheat on us. Nobody wants that. That's a lopsided relationship. I have someone in my life who I love very dearly. It's a man and his partner is extremely jealous and she has been that way for a very, very long time. And he's a wide open book, as transparent as can be, never cheated, doesn't think of cheating, loves her to death. And, but recently he shut down his, his social media. He changed his password on his phone because she was constantly in that for no reason. He said, look, I can't be enabling this behavior anymore. This is codependent. Get off my phone, change this password, go figure this out for yourself because I can't live in this anymore. It's very, very draining to live with somebody who is um, jealous and has a very low self-esteem, okay, because they're constantly vying at you. So. The first thing is, are you creating this environment? Are you creating this in your partner where he feels like he needs to disconnect from you and shut things down because you are over the top, jealous or insecure? Okay, we gotta own that. Gotta own that if it's you. And it's okay if it's you. I've been there myself. I was cheated, my first two relationships I was cheated on in very horrific and painful ways. It wasn't like just a little fling, it was bad things. One, it was with my best friend and the second one, he had an entire relationship the whole time that we were dating. Two years. Yeah, gross. Ew. Anyway, so yeah, I had I had some insecurity going forward from that forward from that point. And I worked on it because I knew it. And it wasn't the guy's fault. We can't bring the sins from the past men and lay them on our future partners or our current partners. We can't do that. It's not fair. It's not fair to them. It's not fair to us if it's been done to us. Okay? Number one. Number two. Yeah. Mm. This is a pretty short answer. If you're not a jealous person and you're sensing something and he's wanting you off of his platforms and his social media and he won't share his password with you, something's up. I can, I can almost guarantee it. Nothing's 100%, so I would say 99.99999. Something is up. If you are not a jealous person, if you are not super insecure, you're just going along, but these little flags are popping up for you. That's your instinct, sister. That is your intuition. That is a message to you. All right? You are getting alerted. Your radar is going up. It's just like an animal that's drinking at a water hole just all peacefully and all of a sudden its radar goes up and there's either a hunter or a predator over there. It's instinct. They sense something and they run. I'm not telling you to run, but what I'm telling you is you need to investigate this. Investigate further. The only times hands down that any man did not let me be on his social media with him or look at his phone. He had some side gig going on. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that they are fornicating with another woman. It could mean that. It could just mean that they're being inappropriate. They're seeking attention for somebody outside of you. All right. They're some, some people have such big holes in them, such big voids, voids of unworthiness inside of them that they need constant attention. Those are often narcissists, by the way. 
and they can't get it from you constantly. Not only that, you're in a relationship for them. So sometimes you show up in a challenging way with them. If they're doing something wrong, then you become the anti-girlfriend, right? They're like, Ugh, you're not filling my void anymore. So they're going to go find that somewhere else. Some people just need attention. Some people are cheaters. If you are getting signs of this and you are not an insecure person that has pushed somebody away or been jealous or been annoying as heck with your insecurity, chances are there's something wrong and it's time to investigate it and to set some firm boundaries re regarding this, to ask a heck of a lot of questions and maybe set some, you know, stipulations. You need to see what's on your phone or I'm out of here because here's what I know for sure. The guys that were not hiding stuff from me, they passed it over to me. Yeah, here. In fact, my husband and I, we know each other's passwords. And it didn't come up like, are you gonna give me your password? You we were just like, hey, I said I need to um, get it. I was gonna text something for him because I was helping him with his business. I said, what's your password? And he told me, it was the same exact password as mine, which was pretty funny. and. And he's done it with mine, wide open passwords, no one's hiding anything. But you can rest assured if that phone starts getting turned over on the table sometimes or kept in his back pocket, I'm going to know something's up because I'm not a jealous person and same with him. So you got something to investigate if your man is not allowing you on social media or not giving you his password and he is your committed boyfriend, that's operative word here. You're not going to just ask your dude you've been dating for two weeks for his stuff, okay? But he is your committed boyfriend and he's not giving you that stuff. You got a red flag. Investigate it. You're worth more than that. Calling him out now can save you years of pain and suffering. You are worth more than this. Okay? All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And to the young lady who requested this, I hope this answered your question. If not, post some more questions and comments. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell so that you receive notifications for future videos. And text me, or not text me, um, comment any questions you have. You can always email me at hello at kristenbrown.org with any subjects that you would like me to approach. And don't forget, the Self Love to Soulmate Masterclass is starting October 12th, where we are going to root ourselves in self love so that we can show up to our relationships in an empowering, assertive, loving, vulnerable, open, and protected in a healthy way. Say goodbye to desperation. Say goodbye to neediness. Say goodbye to dumbing down and playing small or being too nice. Say goodbye to attracting jerks and narcissists and say hello to attracting a healthy relationship. You can get uh, click on the link kristenbrown.org forward slash soulmate. That will take you to the landing page where you can learn all about it and you can enroll. This is literally a low price offer here, you guys, and it's gonna, the lowest that it's ever going to be. And it is absolutely groundbreaking stuff that is really going to shift the energy that you are showing up into relationships. And I can't wait to see you inside. Much love, everybody.